Is Holochain going to break out again and should you be looking to buy Holochain again? Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and in today's video I'll be talking about Holochain. Also guys I'll be talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum and just give you guys an update on what's going on in crypto because cryptocurrency is back guys, crypto is back. So guys without further ado let's get into the video. So guys, if you have been following following me, me and my subscribers have been trading Holochain for over a month. You know, people are buying at the top, we've been buying at the bottom, and that's how you make money. You need to be buying near the bottom, not near the top. So people who bought here made a lot of money, and I, I can't believe people still buy Holochain at the top, because, you know, when something moves up about, you know, two, three hundred percent, you don't buy at the top, it just doesn't make sense. Again, this this is why people people lose their money because they buy at the top. Anyways, guys, um, just my thoughts on Holo Chain. The Holo Chain went up and is consolidating now. It did break out of this kind of trend line. Um, people thinking that this could be a support and we could break higher, and that is a possibility. If you you could have bought around this level or, or that breakout and you would have made some money. But one thing that I don't like is Holochain has formed a double top and it's a double top to to the pip I think if you look at it um, it double topped and it's moving down a double top isn't confirmed unless it breaks this pivot or it breaks this um, anchor but if it if it does but if it could potentially break out from here as well after a pullback so you need to keep out on it i'll keep an eye out for it i have taken some profit because there are other coins that are moving quite well i will talk about some of them and i've spoke about them in my previous videos so that is my thoughts on holochain guys unless it breaks out again i'm not really looking to buy it because last time i think i bought my holo chain around this level so it already had broken out as you can see it broke into a new high pulled back to the moving averages it's one of my favorite trades i bought it around there and it was really good i think i sold a lot of it here and then i sold some of it here as well when it when the in the next pump and when it was falling um you could have bought this kind of similar to a double bottom and it, you always need to buy the buy the resistance sorry buy the support sell the resistance if you don't know trading if you follow that guys you'll make money that's one of the basic first things you need to learn in crypto uh, one thing i would like to share is guys if you follow price action always repeats itself last time when holochain broke out in september you can see that it took about 100 and how long did it take it took about 120 you know three four months to break out so this correction could be that long i'm not saying it will be that long but it, it has a potential to to be quite long so that is why i'm saying you know if it, if you if you want to hodl it it's up to you guys if you if you don't have time to trade but i recommend you know learn i mean these are free videos i'm not charging anything i don't sell courses it's completely free all i ask from you is subscription to my channel turn, turn on the notification button and smashing that like button you know, you can. I, I I share with you guys my honest thoughts. I'm not saying all my predictions are correct. I'm not saying I'll get my holo chain link chain calls have been really good. My Litecoin trade has been really good as well. And finally, Ethereum, um, which I have been trading quite a lot. You can check. I posted this about six days ago when I bought Ethereum. Has been my most profitable trade and that is because um, I trade with a lot more capital when I'm trading Ethereum and Litecoin, Bitcoin on Coinbase rather than trading alts on, on Binance. So a 30% move in altcoin will make me less money than a 5-10% move in Ethereum because I'm using more capital. And Ethereum has been a great trade. I'm going to make another video on Ethereum, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to make it straight after this. Um, my Litecoin prediction has been quite good. Um, Litecoin, I'm not saying is uh, bearish now and it's going to go down because Litecoin has probably got the most bullish chart out of, um, not the most bullish chart, but it's got an uptrend if you see weekly uptrend we haven't got a weekly uptrend in um that is really confusing so i'm going to use this chart that is the chart that i used <laughs> i was using like it so yeah on a weekly chart we haven't broken higher high yet same in ethereum guys that's why i moved my money because i was expecting this bull move to come and you you see that you know ethereum is not broken out again this was a whole chain video so i'm not going to bore you guys too much with other stuff i'm going to make an ethereum video next if you want to watch it and uh, one thing to make sure uh, keep give you guys an idea is do not just hodl a coin that you could because you like there are other coins that are moving like crazy 
in my yesterday's video I talked about Ethereum, Komodo, um, Arc, Storage and if you look at them they've done really well uh, this is a good way to see which coins are popping you know Holochain has been popping today Komodo is a coin that I was trading you know yesterday if you watch my video and that's been doing well Cardano I spoke about it yesterday you can watch my video uh, Bitcoin SV and EOS are two coins that I'm looking now um, EOS has just gone crazy and um, I've missed it I've not really traded a, a EOS but I am keeping an eye out for it it is at strong resistance now so um, I might not be able to get into a position again I always buy the pullback but yeah it, it, it did give such a nice uh, bottoming pattern in a way and it broke out so nicely this would have been a really good trade but again you you don't you don't win all your all the trades it's difficult to just keep track of what's going on in the whole cryptocurrency market and the volumes back as well we've not seen this kind of volume in a while so yeah since december so yeah eos is something that i'm keeping an eye out and bitcoin sv i'll make a video i'll make a video update on my previous so yeah just to let you know guys do not just you know look at holochain keep your eyes out watch these some of the videos that i'm making some of these coins do pop so definitely keep an eye out for uh, some of my videos so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions on technical analysis guys you can email me again i'm not saying i know everything uh, all i can do is guys share with you guys my thoughts i've been giving um people um like uh, some um a pdf to help people to learn technical analysis or a 30 minute skype call or a, or a mentoring call is completely free i don't charge anything uh, if you want potentially in the future we could work together for mentoring but initially it's all free and i'm not gonna i won't be able to help people that don't know anything about technical analysis so you have to do your own research before we can start working together so hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions guys email me at crypto rock at hotmail.com my email address is in the description below so hope you guys enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button also guys if you want to win 250 dollars worth of xrp make sure you turn on the notification button and when after you subscribe to my channel and comment below your xrp address so guys what are your thoughts on holochain do you think holochain can break out or do you think holochain could pull back to the um 618 uh, level or the 50% previous resistance well so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much